G'day guys, Joe here from Diano Electrical. So today we're gonna to be installing another Tesla power wall. So we've already installed one for this customer before. Um, they had an existing solar system. We're getting through winter now, so the customer needed a bit more power. Um, they've got a electric vehicle that they wanna charge, as well as the air conditioner and hut in the house and all their other general sort of appliances. So the general idea today is we're gonna get rid of this stuff here. Uh, we're actually gonna get rid of this conduit and that duct as well. We're gonna neaten up this whole entire wall, um, install the other Tesla power wall, as well as two new sun grow inverters to support the extra 13 kilowatts of solar that we've got on the roof. So we'll walk you through how we're gonna do that today and um, see how it goes. All right, so now we've got the we've got the ferret up the wall, so it's up into the roof space now. Um, so we're just waiting on Lorenzo on the roof. He's just going to tape all the cabling together, um, and then we're going to pull it down in uh, one hit. So we got the cables through. So we got our big three-phase orange circ. So it's going to power both inverters um, and the other Tesla. We run another six mil just to power some just general lights and power in here from that other little subboard that was over here. So we're gonna redo that. So now we're gonna move these cables over. Everything's gonna go on that tray nice. And we're gonna put another little switchboard just here, um, just to power everything and make it look super neat. So um, we'll keep going with that and um, we'll keep you, keep you in the loop. This is the tray we're gonna do. So we're gonna do, like I said, a bit of tray down here. And we're gonna come across horizontally after that. Um, so like I said, it'll neaten this whole entire wall up. Um, it'll make it look a bit more professional, um, less conduit. We're not gonna touch that. Um, we didn't install that. So all of our new gear will look super neat. Um, so we'll just fix this back now and we'll get the rest of the tray work done while the boys are pulling the cabling in um, on the roof. All right, so I've got our tray in here now. Um, so we just had to go back and just do a bit of a 45 to neaten it up. Um, we've now got our enclosure in. So this is gonna basically just be a little sub board in the shed. Um, so not only will this power up um, the existing Tesla and the new Tesla, it's gonna do both inverters and then the general power for this back shed because the old switchboard was sort of in our way. So we needed to sort of get rid of that anyway. Um, so we'll keep you in the loop with this one. Um, we'll keep going and we'll show you the final result afterwards. Alright, so we've just finished mounting the um, two sun grow inverters. So we've still got to tidy up a bit of this cabling anyway, but we'll do that in due course. So. I'm gonna start now running some cabling for the second Tesla just to go here. Um, Scotty's gonna start running the AC cabling for the two SunGo um, inverters. Um, and then we'll just show you the finished product once we've actually finished tidying everything up. Oh. Yep, it's on. There we go. All right guys, we just finished up here. So we just finished up the two Teslas and the two SunGo's with an extra 13 kilowatts on uh, the roof. So it's all running well. Switchboard's all finished. We're all happy days. Thanks for watching.